This is one of the cheapest units I can find online to be able to enable that feature. It is under $200 or under $180 Australian dollars before the discount. Hey guys, this is Drew, welcome to the channel. If you have an old MG3 or the MG ZS, all those cars do not have Android Auto built in from the factory. That means from the factory you can only use Bluetooth. But in today's video, I'll show you how to use this small adapter to enable a wireless Android Auto connection for your MG3, again the older generation, or the MG ZS, the current base model or the earlier generation. Small disclaimer, this company sent this product for free to me, but they do not sponsor this particular video. First thing, the pricing, it is 119 US dollars on the website. You can get a 10% discount using my promo code on top of the screen. If you would like to purchase this product, I would highly recommend you using my affiliated link down below in the description and also on the top comment. Not only that I guarantee you to have the best price, but also I will receive a small referral fee from the sale. Thank you very much in advance. In today's video, this is just a quick guide, but in the future video, I'll do a full complete review on this particular product. In terms of packaging, it's pretty simple. Inside the package, you can find the unit and a few cables. On the MG3 and MGZS, you want to use this. The USB-A connects to USB-C to this particular unit. All right, the first part, I'll explain how this thing works and why it will work for your MG3, the old one, or the MGZS, the basic one, or the old one. First thing, on your screen, you only have Apple CarPlay enabled. You just need to connect the USB with your iPhone, you can enable the Apple CarPlay. But if you do connect your Android phones, nothing will show up because the built-in screen does not come with Apple CarPlay at all. So what this unit does is it will connect to the any screen with Apple CarPlay. So click the Apple CarPlay, that means we are going to a secondary screen created by this particular unit. Once we are inside, we can find Bluetooth, we can find the car setting, we can find some other things. You can even watch YouTube, you can watch Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Hulu, whatever. You can even download TikTok, by the way. So quite a few fancy features. But today we want to focus on the Android Auto system. That means we just need to click Auto Link. When the phone is connected, it will show the Android Auto straight away, just like that. You can find your Google Map and you can find other things on this particular screen. Well, your phone sits further away from the console with no cable connected at all. And going back, that's the home screen. In the next part, you, I will show you how to connect from the start. So first step, you want to connect your USB-C to the unit and connect the USB-A, which is a large port, to the USB down there. And once it's connected, you have some light over there to let you know it's trying to connect. We we'll just need to wait for a few seconds. There we go, the screen will now connect. We can go click go to, or we can do not worry about it, it will just connect straight away anyway. It'll give you some warning tips if you want, otherwise click accept and go on. Next, you just need to go to your smartphone and connect to the device using Bluetooth functions. So under connection, switch on Bluetooth, and under the Bluetooth settings, you want to find a, a basically a T-Box or something like that. It will have a different name. On this one, it's T-Box Mini. Sometimes it may name as Binnings or whatever. Click here and click Pair. Once it's paired, do you want to access to your contacts? You can allow it. That's no problem. Then later on, you can see a small logo on the top. It's trying to establish a connection with the Android Auto. So it's looking for Android Auto actively. Sometimes you may need to go through, go through a few more steps, but otherwise it should connect. Now we want to go to the screen to click Auto Link. As the Auto Link is trying to establish connection with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, in this instance, it is Android Auto. And you want to connect, of course. Just like that, my phone is giving most messages and vibrations to let me know that's connected. Next time we jump inside the vehicle, this should automatically connect straight away. And then you see a small dot over here, just like that. When you click these dots, it allows you to go home or anything like that. 
you can go back. Otherwise, when you control the Android Auto screen, these things are all the same. There's no difference whatsoever. When you click exit, it does not exit to the MG screen yet. It exit to the CarPlay or to the uh, adaptive screen. So go here, now go to the MG screen, go here. That's the CarPlay or adaptive screen, auto link. That's your Android auto screen. So yeah, that's how that works. Um, pretty good actually. I think response time is okay. It's not going to be as fast as I wish, uh, but overall the connection is fine. You can even delete all the processing background. You can even go home again. That leads you back to home again. There are many, many settings. There are even Play Store, there are even YouTube. I'm going to leave this for the next video. But in this video, this is the quick way. There's only one small setting I wish to let you know. Just under the auto link before you get everything connected, click the settings. While it's auto connected, enable that. So that means when you have the car switched on, when this is plugged in, when your phone has Bluetooth uh, available, it will just connect straight away without you tapping anything. Just like that. Now, this is a quick speed test. Let's plug it in. There we go, that's all done. All right, that's the end of this quick video. Do not forget, you can use my affiliate link down below to purchase this product. I will receive a referral fee from your purchase. Also, use my promo code on the screen to get 10% discount. I hope you found the content helpful. The best way to support the channel is to subscribe, like, and I will see you next one.